Hey guys, just letting you know, um, obviously I'm not there today. I'm home with a sick kid. My youngest is not feeling good, so I'm staying home. Um, Mrs. Welch is there. Everybody wave hi to Mrs. Welch. Um, she's going to be taking over today, but I wanted to give you a quick little tutorial instructions on what we're doing today because uh, we're just still going to plug along with uh, our emotional management stuff. Today we're talking about uh, assertive communication. We've been talking about not feeling like a doormat, a lot of thought stuff, um, you know, responding to the ants, all that kind of stuff. Now we actually get to do some action. So that's what we're going to practice today. So here's what I have set up. Uh, we are going to be practicing what we call I statements. I've got a short video that I sent through Google Classroom that's got um, kind of a format that you can follow. It makes it a little easier to kind of put your thoughts together as we practice this. I know it, it'll be clunky. It'll be robotic. But it's just learning the concept. It's learning the process of, of trying to change the way that we respond to emotional crisis. So that's so bear with me. It'll, it'll click a little bit better the more that you do it. So watch that video quick. Um, and then I also sent you a practice sheet for the I statement, you know, kind of practice stuff. I want you to work on that sheet. Once you're done with the video, work on that sheet. On, on Mrs. Welch has some copies if you want to do it on paper, but I also sent it to you digitally so you can do it on your Chromebook. But I want you to work on it by yourself first and try to do the best you can with creating an I statement from the statements that I gave you. Then once you guys are kind of done, I want you to pair up with somebody and compare what you came up with with what they came up with and make some modifications uh, if you need to. And then at the end of class, if there's time, Mrs. Welch is going to have you guys share out what your groups came up with for the different um, prompts that I gave you. Um, so what I want to do really quick is to um, go through a simple um, thought process and they don't really address this much in the video but it does go along with the video that you're going to watch and it's this concept of um, if it'll come up. Let's see. Perfect. Maybe that's what I need to do. There we go. Wish. Um, it's just an acronym and uh, what WISH stands for is when I find or feel so I'd like and then the how. All right. So then the basics of this are and if you want to write this down, pause the video, get a little half sheet of paper or type it in your Chromebook or something like that. Just so you kind of have this on the side. Otherwise, you can kind of remember it. Uh, but what the when refers to is what's the issue, not focused on them or not focused on what they did wrong. But what's the issue? Um, your your the the pen is tapping the noise is driving me crazy um uh i almost you know ran into you or something like that that's the issue okay so that's what the when stands for the i find or the feel is the impact it had on me and this is where you have some kind of a feeling word or some kind of a you know describing what how you reacted internally okay i was afraid i was frustrated i was angry um that kind of thing that's the impact part of it um and then, so I'd like, and this is the solution. Here's what I want to happen from now on. So, um, you know, please stop tapping the pen or uh, please watch where you're going or something along those lines. That's the solution. And then the how would be, how can we work together on this? Or how can I help this situation be better also? Um, how can you help me, you know, from overreacting or whatever. Um, there may be a situation where that works. It may not work, but if you can be part of a solution, you know, that's kind of where the how comes into. So that's just a, a quick little mantra that you can think of is that wish, you know, when this happens, I feel this is what I'd like. And how, can I, is there a way I can help make this easier if that's appropriate? So that's a, a quick little thing that you can use as a way to remember how to use assertive communication, how to use I statements. So you're not attacking the other person verbally, but you're more talking about the solution or the issue versus talking about the assumption of why they did what they did. Because again, we talked about compassion. If we go in with the attitude that they probably didn't do it on purpose, it was probably an accident, whether it was just lack of concentration or just not paying attention or whatever. Um, so going into, into the situation that way. So... There you go. Watch the quick video. It'll kind of run you through the format. Work on the, the I statement practice on your own and then buddy up, kind of refine it. And then at the end of class, uh, you guys can share out some of the stuff that you, um, that you came up with. All right. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for watching the video. And sorry, the quality is probably not the greatest, but you know, here I am at my house. So, uh, so see you guys tomorrow and I hope everything works out great. Let me know if it doesn't.